Hello everyone, and welcome back to Beam Saber the Cenotaph, part 18. <laughs> yeah, we are back from the holidays, we are back to continue our mech and pilot filled campaign of Beam Saber. I am your host, Austin Ramsey, and I am struggling to remember the usual intro because it has been a while. Just <laughs> my pronouns are he him. You can find me on Twitter at not an in. Uh, you can find the rules for Beam Saber at tinyurl.com slash beam saber. There is also now a quick start guide for Beam Saber, which that uh, link does not take you directly to, but there is a link within that link which will take you to the quick start guide if you find the full rules a bit intimidating. As always, this stream is presented by You Don't Meet in an Inn, an actual play podcast about exploring obscure tabletop role-playing games with a diverse rotating cast. And you can find that on iTunes and wherever you get your podcasts. This evening, I am joined by Takuma. Hey, I'm Takuma. My friends are they, them. Uh, my Twitter is at Takuma underscore Okada underscore um i write games and music and stuff it's yeah intros it's been a while <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for your efforts i'm also joined by sasha hi i'm sasha uh, my pronouns are they them you can find me on twitter at sasha underscore underscore Renault, and you can find my game dev stuff at tea cabbage thank you also joining us is ray hi i'm ray i use they them pronouns and my Twitter is at Ray Ray the Gay Gay. I forgot to speak. Um, and I don't know. I don't use it much, but I'm doing a game for the Game Jam right now, so that's fun. Nice. What's that Game Jam? Uh, it is the. I think it's just the Jam Jam. It's the. Let me pull up a link. Uh, the Record Collection 2K19, um, which is a Game Jam where we make tabletop games based on albums or musicians bodies of works nice. also like a jojo <laughs> and that is the voice of doc who is also joining us this evening hi i'm doc uh, i use he him pronouns uh you guys can follow me on twitter and twitch.tv at <laughs> double doc md i play video games i podcast and i do a whole lot of near dwelling just stuff nice thank you so much for joining us all right, so who remembers where we last left off? Oh, what a time. What a time. <laughs> this is like eight years ago by internet time. All right, so here's the sitch. You... Right, you just did your... <laughs> it took me a minute, too. Uh, I... See, because I know that what happened during downtime, but I'm trying to remember what the previous mission was, which was uh, kidnapping kidnapped the kidnapping the metal band, uh, PDC, Point Defense Cannon, uh, so that Scratch could arrange a diplomatic meeting between certain parties. Because Scratch's a dick. <laughs> um, and then y'all had downtime, and at the start of downtime, Layla Quince and... Uh, the rebel runs they showed up at your chapel seeking asylum because they had been 
kicked out of uh, Journey City by the burden. They had just been gotten gotten wrecked. They weren't completely destroyed, but everyone was scattered. And so by the end of that downtime, y'all had agreed to help them find uh, everyone who was missing, who had gone to ground in Journey City. So that is where we are starting things. Um, hmm. Yeah, sorry, there was just something I was thinking of, but I think I'll save that for later. So, let us plan this mission. Uh, so your employer are the Rubble Runts, which are a tier one independent squad, which Yay. means you are not getting a supply roll for this mission unless you can convince someone to pay you for it. Which, uh, if y'all want to try and do that before the mission starts, you're welcome to. Uh, your target are the Burden, a Tier 2 independent squad. And your objective is to find the scattered rebel runts and regroup them. So. Oh, uh, and your rules of engagement, no harming or threatening civilians, and no posing as or attacking medical units. Gotcha. Is there a way we could frame this so it looks like it could be good for one of our, like, supporting factions, maybe, or groups? Is what? there? How would you do that? I don't know. I'm just wondering if, like, if there's a way we could, because not going with a, with a supply roll is, is an adventure. Um, Anyone have any thoughts on that? Yeah, it's not a big deal if not. I was just wondering if there's an angle that anyone has ideas for. Mm. Oops. Oh, I keep mis misclicking. That's just my, my job today. Um, maybe Bishop Finn? No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, other than just the, the premise of it's cool to have people who are alive. Um, <laughs> I don't I don't know that there's anything for Bishop in that. Okay, that's fair. I just wanted to ask. Maybe a PR thing, like, hey, you know what? Maybe don't have a bunch of helpless people slaughtered on your watch, you know? Just... Maybe. Well, you did recently get contact with two other squads who you are... Uh, who Scratch was hoping that a relationship would be built with, which are the Dark Room and Lady Elrath. So, let's see. Black Ops Deniable Asset deployed from a stealth orbital platform to eliminate enemy VIPs. And that was, that was the squad that um, the roadies actually were. Yeah. Right. I don't really see an angle that we could take with this. Like, uh, I don't. I'm you, not thinking of anything. You could just ask. Very WYSIWYG. <laughs> you could ask a, a, a representative from another squad and be like, hey, we're going to the store. Do you need anything? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> hey, you guys want like, a Coke? Maybe some chips? Yeah. Um, you know, some uh, high-caliber rounds. Rack of missiles. You know, I can get you a six-pack. 
to, to, to the deal. basics. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I just remembered another piece of information that you have that I forgot to mention is that uh, Layla has managed to get in contact with one of her lieutenants, Joe Jerry Berry, and he is That's in funny. he's in Journey City and has managed to like uh, reach out to a number of the uh, remaining rebel runs that are in the city and has organized them somewhat. So, like, once you set a time, he'll gather everyone as best he can <laughs> to make things a bit easier. But he's also concerned about uh, time constraints because the word is that the Burden are looking for them. And while he's hidden in Kingstown, the Burden also have a strong presence in Kingstown, which is a uh, low-income neighborhood filled with uh, local refugees in Journey City. So what, so what I'm hearing here is that it's a little bit less seek and find, a little bit more exfil. Uh, yes, that's assuming that things that you that things go well off the bat. Of course, like they always do. We're <laughs> professionals. Yeah. You are all professionals, which is why I'm here. We are paid to do this, yes. <laughs> not paid, paid much. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe today not paid at all. We'll find out. Yeah. So paid is relative. So you'll be in Kingstown the neighborhood in Journey City if uh, you want to approach anyone to ask for uh, money and supplies. Okay, well, the, well the, the two factions that we know and have relationships with in Journey City that I can think of, and I'm happy to hear more, um, are the hyenas um, and uh, the yeah. what are they called? the March of Saints. Yeah, we have such a good relationship with hyenas. That's, that's gonna go. We do actually. We're <laughs> we have. Plus Wait, three I might be mixing them. things up. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, oh hmm. well, you could approach them. Uh, the Society for Wider Understanding also technically has an office in Journey City. <laughs> Technically? <laughs> I mean, okay, they, they not technically they have a city, but they have a city, and you technically have a relationship with them. <laughs> was, it, was it the Society for Water Understanding that we um, got a job from earlier? Yes, they're the ones who you arrange the contract to pick up bodies with, and then also uh, Tower posed as a janitor, Pitchfork posed as a security guard, Oh no! Uh, Dredge arranged that contract. Uh, Listen, we just I've make read this story. We can't go there. There's a guy that has my number. <laughs> <laughs> right, I forgot about them. <laughs> <laughs> we can't go there. Just ghosting an entire um, fucking faction to no. avoid one creeper. You know what? That's valid, and I we support can't. you. We can't. <laughs> I'll stay in the car. <laughs> I'd rather not get paid. <laughs> I'd rather not get paid than have to, like, awkwardly interact with some guy. I don't want to do that. Um, the Jovengelian Jackals also probably have uh, a, f a location in uh, Journey City. Which is the squad that Scarecrow's rival belongs to. Ooh. If you want to try and uh, get paid <laughs> from them. Do you want to continue the time-honored tradition of working for your rivals? <laughs> Might have to be a thing. Um, I will suffer through some bad flirting, but... I... After what happened, no. 
also, it's okay to draw boundaries and then stand by them. Like... Y- y'all got positive relationships too, you know? <laughs> you yeah. Know approach. Like, okay, let's see. There's the 99th Intelligence Corps that you have a plus one relationship with because Scarecrow's ally is amongst them. You have a plus one relationship with the Quill because your squad contact, uh, Sycamore, the journalist, is amongst them. Uh, you got that plot plus one relationship with the Dark Room thanks to uh, your kidnapping a metal band. How did that generate a positive relationship again? Uh, because you put them in contact with Bishop Finmal and Lady Elrath. And so there is wheeling and dealing that came out of that kidnapping. Fair. The 99th might be a good idea, just specifically because my ally um, is a spotter, specifically, of the few details we have. Spotter is one of them. So that could be a good favor to call in. That would be useful. And yeah. you also technically have a neutral relationship with Lady Elrath. Yes, we're trying to rescue people. Let's call in Lady Elrath. That is... That, that is a logical plan of action that will in no way explode. I mean, I mean, if she has if she has something that needs to get done that she can't just sort of bring her big old death mech into town for, we are a much smaller death mechs that could that could handle it. <laughs> Fair. We want to go on a side quest. It just occurred to me that you and I have very different formulations of the phrase death mech <laughs> you have like the death carrying servicing mech i have the death bringing mech <laughs> you could you also have positive relationships with the cirque du soldat and doctors beyond the stars oh wait no those are independent think- never mind Oh. We're not going to get say, paid for another. Be so good because hey, refugees, that's a great tie-in. We don't want people sure. to get hurt, but no. Damn I it, mean, independent. We could always call them in if we need them. Like, probably will. Um, <laughs> yeah. See, this is already looking very bad because my brain is just like, okay, just take my little transport drone. Shh, shh. Okay. Oh, no, oh, that's rules of engagement. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Violating the Geneva Convention. Oh, the the sh- sh- was you spray painting a pl- uh, red plus sign on your mech? Gotcha. Yep. Well, not on the mech, on the transport pods. Right, right. <laughs> Don't be like Stardew Valley. Mm-hmm. Don't violate the Geneva <laughs> Convention. <laughs> what the fuck did you do in Star Stardew Valley? No, Stardew Valley had to patch out That's the right. little red cross on the doctor's office because that technically violates the Geneva Convention. <laughs> what? Only the red cross can use a red cross. For me. Yeah. So. I don't know what they changed it to. I haven't they played that game They changed it to a blue cross. Year. I see. Now we mourn. They sound like bitter rivals now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, are y'all gonna approach anyone to get paid, or are you just gonna tighten your belts? Do we want it? I'm always down for taking a side quest from Lady Elrath. I like. I like. I, I feel like that's a good relationship to foster, and especially like. I feel like it makes sense a lot more than a lot of the other options because it's like we were recently. Hey, we're America. trying to curry favor here. It's like a relationship we're trying to build. Yeah, and we were very recently in contact, or at least adjacent. Okay, so, who wants to call her and ask for work? Not it. <laughs> Oh, the silence. <laughs> I love, I love the idea of the four of you, like, sitting around the kitchen table discussing this, hashing it out, and then coming to the conclusion that we should work for Lady Elrath, and then being like, wait, now one of us has okay, to go have, through with this. I have a single question. Uh, Lady Elrath, uh, I presume she is military background. She's not just some, you know, indie self-trained in a giant battle suit. Uh, I think. Hmm. But you won't talk to her. Like, here's the thing. No. There's gay culture. There's. (laughs) (laughs) That's your defense for everything, Ray. Yes, it is. It works for a lot of things. (laughs) Um, If you make me do this, it's homophobic. (laughs) (laughs) 
the thing about Lady Elreth is that there's a lot of rumors about her and trying to... Oh, God, to... she's shrouded in mystery, isn't she? Um, yes and no. Like, there's a lot of stuff out there, and trying to sift through what is the truth... Like, I don't... I don't think that there's a whole lot of, like, she appears out of nowhere and, like, her victims suddenly die and then she goes into a shadow and disappears. Like, not that kind of mystery. Just, like, there's a lot of scuttlebutt about what her and her mech are capable of and what her goals are. I'm less interested in her... Um, okay, w w what I'm trying to get to through this is, like, not, like, you know, what does she do... Uh, like the uh, like or her like mech specification or anything. What I'm more asking is like, hey, does um Scare does Scarecrow have a commonality with her so far as like you know military background as a point of like okay Scarecrow's like I got this. It's like I know how to talk to military people. That's what I'm asking. Yes, I I thought you were going in that direction. And again, I think there are rumors that she is military, but also there's rumors that she's just like essentially uh like knight errant. He did briefly share a, a, a mosh pit with her. Yeah. Was that informative? <laughs> okay, does she mosh like a military person? What 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 is a military mosh? Goose stepping? Bad. <laughs> um, Excuse me? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, she <laughs> I'm just saying, like in in the the like uh, throwing punches as art and dance section of the mosh pit um, did anything did that reveal anything to you? <laughs> um, she clearly has hand-to-hand -hand combat training of some variety. I don't I don't think you'd probably be familiar enough with the Adamant Council of Nor's like martial arts to know if it was like their military's martial arts, or if it's just like a a, a common like generic <laughs> generic martial arts, right? <laughs> no, that's what's in uh, D and D's yeah, Oriental CQC. Adventures. Um, <laughs> You're more more a Sog Seal kind of girl, or more of a Fairbane Sykes kind of girl? That's when I'm multi class monk. Can't say that while I'm trying to <laughs> drink, Austin. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think that you, like, got enough from that. But if you want to try and gather information on her to try and figure out more about her before you try and talk to her, you're welcome to. Or anyone can try and gather that information. <laughs> yeah. Look, she's scary. <laughs> Okay. Um, you know what? Here's what I think I'm gonna do because I, I think this is as much like player awkwardness as this is uh, like character awkwardness. I think just um, pair up with a call and rather than trying to roleplay it, I think I just want to like you know abstract the conversation. I think okay. that'll just help speed things along. Sure thing. Um. So. I think what I'm going to abstract it down to is we are going to be in this area and we understand that there are some sensitive things moving around and I'm going to be vague about it in a way that might imply I know that something's going on. Um, but asking if she needs any operational support or if there's anything going on while this is a thing. Basically, we're going to the store. Do you want anything? Yeah. But way more tactful and way more, like, military jargony. Okay. Um, so I know we're going to just sort of abstract this conversation, but quick question. What do you address her as when you when she picks up? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Not calling her that. Um, we were never... For were we formally introduced? No. Do we know if Lady Elrath is just something that, like, people call her, or if that's, like, a self-chosen title? 
You know what? <laughs> Remember what I said about all those rumors you could gather information yeah. to sort through? Fuck. You know what? I have a solution for this. It's a very, it's a very, it's a very power bottom move, but ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good work around. Gay culture. <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, so yeah, <laughs> there's no faux pas surrounding that. Um, she clearly recognizes you from the mosh pit, uh, and you get the f like. She doesn't speak to you as an equal, not at all. She uh, she never like insults you openly, but you can tell by her tone of voice that she definitely sees you as like a serf. Um, or th the equivalent within whatever your, uh, culture is. Um, so yeah, and so she, she says, uh, give me, give me an hour and I'll send you information. And so an hour later, you get a dossier for a quick mission, which... So to be clear, this is shifting your objective now. This is changing the objective of your mission, and rescuing the Rubble Runs becomes a side secondary objective. That is not. What All right. Do. So. Fuck. What? <laughs> like. But you could, you know, improve the relationships with two squads, help out the Runs, and uh, get some extra trust. We can always split the party. <laughs> that went so well last time. That always goes great. Yeah, I've read up on your missions files. You guys are great at this. <laughs> so you do fucking great. Here is what she wants. Her cousin Margrave Elreth has gone missing. Went missing a couple months ago during a uh, patrol, and. The information that she has been able she has been able to piece together is that he is somewhere in Kingstown. She doesn't know where, but she sends you a picture and like identifying notes and uh what else would she be able to scratch together? Picture, identifying notes. Um, where he was last seen. And she also mentions that uh, he's always been reluctant in his role in the family. And so he may have run away after his patrol was possibly destroyed. He might also be unable to gather the resources to get back to Norish territory. As if he ejected, all he would have had with him was, like, a sidearm and his flight suit. Someone walk around town with a flight suit. That sounds very familiar. <laughs> well, that's assuming he still has the flight suit and the sidearm. But the point is, he did not have a whole lot when he disappeared. So, if you find him and bring him back, she will pay you. Excellent. I'm, I'm excited by this opportunity. Okay. There you go. You got, <laughs> you got an employer. Yeet. Hooray. <laughs> and... We... <sighs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck. I cannot imagine this is gonna go well. Do you tell... Does anyone tell Layla about this development? Because remember... Remind it... me who Layla is again. Sorry. Pardon? Remind me who Layla is again. Sorry. Layla Quince is the leader of the Rubble Runs. You're... She, as far as she is aware, your employer for this mission, which you are doing as a favor to her because she is good friends with Pitchfork, and 
and she and the remaining rebel runs are coming on this mission as a fire team to support you. A fire team of toughs. I think... I mean, I think there's a way we could approach this that prioritizes the rubble runs and... Because if they've got a fire team coming along, we can always do the actual rescuing of and then have them be... I'm, I, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Yeah, so here, um, here's what I'm thinking right now. I definitely, I think, want to contact the 99th and call in a favor there. Because I'm sure they... I'm sure they have a lot of, you know, um, local tactical data and so on. And, like, they just keep an eye on things. So it might be worth, like, hey, can you, like, run this through your surveillance skimmer or whatever? See if there's any, like, facial matches or something. While also, like... At the same time saying like okay um what's the situation because who who is it again who's like in town and is very bad news for the rubber ones the burden the bird yeah so like can do we have tracks on first of all while you're at it this guy this felt well i sorry what's the name again i haven't written down margrave elrath yeah Mar seen this margrave person at all uh and second of all like do you have a track on uh burden movements Okay, uh, give this. So this will be a gather information. What do you want to roll? What do I want to roll? Uh, I think this would be. Okay. Can this be a hunt? I'm trying to track down a specific target. Also. I'm keeping track of where things are moving in relation to safety to move through a city. Hmm. If not, I can survey. I. Well, here's. Hmm. I am torn because you are requesting this information, right? You're not, like, you're not on site yet yourself. You're not the one doing the hunting. Um, but, yeah, I could see that, like, you looking over documents provided to you by your ally and applying hunt to that. So I'll allow it. Okay. And also knowing what are the right documents to ask for. Yeah, true. Okay. So that's, uh, I've got two in hunt and... I think I'm going to push myself for an extra die. That'll be risky standard, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Would this be... Is This is going to be a fortune roll. There's no risk here. Oh. Okay. Um, so is that just two dice, then? I I don't know if you can push yourself on a fortune It's You can... It's been a while. Uh, can you... Yeah, you can push yourself on gather information if you want to do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. For dice, I assume? Yep. Glad I fucking did. Because <laughs> you got all... Uh, you got a three as your highest. So, that is limited information. Ah, uh, so let's see. What do you get? Hmm. So what you get back is... What's the name of your ally? Uh, it, uh, Edifice Jefferson? Right. Uh, so Edifice gets back at you, and what's their pronouns? Uh, they, them. They, them. And they, they say that it's hard. They don't have a lot of intel on... Kingstown because it's a low priority target frankly like it it's a very impoverished area it's full of lots of refugees that no one wants to try and take responsibility for on top of that the locals are hostile to off-worlders and Especially because the Rubble Runts and the Burden both make their homes in that district. 
So it's it's just hard to keep people in there, and they've gotten good at spotting cops. Great. <laughs> uh, you do, however, get um, you do, however, get some surveillance photographs of basically like a community-run soup kitchen line. And going over the photographs, you do find someone in the lineup who matches the who matches uh, Margrave Elrath. Okay. So. Um. And how recent is this match? Uh, probably, um, it's probably a month and a half old. Okay. Sounds like there's some gum shooing to do. Yeah. So he's he's in the neighborhood. But unfortunately you don't have much more than that. And that he attends a community run soup kitchen. But I don't think that the information you get even identifies like who runs the soup kitchen or like where in Kingstown it is. So that's what you got. Limited information. Anyone well, else? Gather information about Margrave Elrath, the neighborhood, the burden, the rubble runs. Do we know where the rubble runs we're trying to get to are centered? Um, I think that uh, Joe Jerry Berry hasn't fully confirmed the location yet. He has stated that, like, He's concerned, like, he relays that the resources available to him are not encrypted communications. And so he is concerned about stating his location until rescue is, like, immediate. Because he's worried about someone, if not the burden, dropping in on the safe house that he's occupying. Um, can I call in, um, uh, I know that the, the bar that I worked in was in the Broken Bank, but is it in enough of the vicinity that I could, like, call up someone, um, Well, yeah, you, that? you can contact, um, is it Love Goy or Love Good or Love Joy? I can't remember the bar. I think it was Love Good. Um, let me quickly check my notes. Um, but yeah, you could you could reach out to them to uh, love good, yeah. Yeah. You you could reach out to them to find out. To try and find out something, because they often hear a lot, since uh, the Broken Bar is the only place in the Broken Bank yeah. that is uh, uh, provides food and or alcohol, and the Broken Bank is full of a lot of freedom fighters and criminals and other ne'er-do-wells, so they might have heard yeah. something. Okay. Is that just a, just a, gather information? Would a consort be fine for that? Yeah, you can af absolutely talk them up. Okay. What do you? What information are you looking for? I'm looking to see if anyone has either got a clue as to where the burden are centered right now, or if um, there has been any hint of um, where the rubble runs might be located. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Okay, this is a 1D roll, so... <laughs> Ugh. That's a 5. That's a 5. That is standard information. Alright. More than we've got. What are they able to tell you? Um, so, do you, do you want to play out the scene, or do you just want to abstract it? I'd rather just abstract it. Okay. I'm... So... A uh, little bit. They... 
Let's see, standard information. They relay. I don't. They 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 relay that the burden seem to be more active than usual in Kingstown. They. Where have they set up shop? Um, they have set up inside of, hmm, they've set up in an old refueling station and it's, it's a temporary headquarters that they're, that they're in. It's not like, I mean, they used to be located in an apartment building, but then something <coughs> happened to that apartment building. Uh, so they're in a refueling station now. And they're, but other than that, they're pretty <laughs> scattered throughout Kingstown. Word is that they're looking for the rubble runs. Um, so they're all Do you over mind? the place. And let's see. Do you mind pinging the location on the map? Of the refueling station? Yeah. Sure. Uh, this corner okay. lot here. Here? Yep. Okay. It, uh, let me, do we got pins? Are pins a thing? Just put like a token on it maybe? Or like draw a little dot? Yeah, I was... Okay. No. Not there. <laughs> Sorry. Here? I'll... I'll 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 put I'll put a mark. Okay. There. A B for burden. <laughs> All right. Note the fact that I drew a B, complete chance. I was trying to make a squiggle. All right. <laughs> so, is that better? <laughs> um so yeah, that's where that's where they are located. Uh Okay. Let me Quickly put in, yeah. And then I'm also going to put in this text here. This big space here, that's called the yard. It's an old uh, public transit bus depot that has okay. since been turned into an open air market uh, in Kingstown. Um, so that's where a place where you can find a lot of people. Oh, so it's it's just the the Witchwood Barns. I don't know that. Oh, it's a thing in Toronto. Okay. Um and as for where the rubble runs are, let's see. Would they have heard anything about that? Um I think they've heard that they are in Kingstown, but they've also heard that like they're done for, that they're, they're no longer a thing, and just it's, they're just people now scattered throughout Kingstown. Okay. So no one's come through, nothing specific like that. Uh, they mentioned that. Yeah, no, no one, no one would have come through. I was gonna say Layla passed through, but no, that's, she wouldn't have gone through the Broken Bank to get to Hollington. Okay. So, we have that information, which is good. At least we know where to keep people away from. <laughs> um, and maybe where to look if people are... I mean, there's a chance that they took prisoners in sort of disbanding things, so... Is that something that the burden do? Yeah, take I don't prisoners? Know. Yeah. They can always uh, use more information. Because they so, suck. um, right. I have one question on the Margrave front. Mm hmm. Um, we say they uh, ejected and they basically, they're in on no supplies. Oh, yeah. He, um, sorry. My question is do we have an approach direction? Like, where was their engagement that they had to retreat from? Like, uh, all I need is a cardinal direction. I need to know which way they came into town from. From the west. From the west? Okay, cool. 
was their mech like trashed? Uh, yeah. Someone eventually found the patrol. They, it, the records show that they got into a fight with um, a Jovengelian patrol of the hyenas, and they got wrecked. And he managed to escape, but no one else in uh, his squad did. Mechs have the soul survivors boxes. are always in nice, healthy places. Um, I would say that some Avis do have black boxes, but I think that this information comes in from, like, uh, Maydays. Okay. But do you think, like, this kind of, this kind of Avi would have some kind of record his his would have yeah because nobility okay so we could find that mm -hmm. hyenas huh weird weird yeah. no connection so, um, whatsoever I, I think at the kitchen table meeting as we're going over this uh scarecrow actually kind of wants to get that out there early because her idea is to Daniel Day Lewis this shit and basically method act her way to hey look at me I've got nothing but a gun I'm coming in from the west side of town where do I go for soup <laughs> I thought you meant you're gonna go all uh, gangs of New York <laughs> <laughs> that's all I do all day just cut meat and throw knives there have been a lot of gangs of New York references in my games lately <laughs> <laughs> it's a good movie um Okay, so that's that's one particular so, uh, route that is suggested. That's not implemented yet, but I think she's going to come in here like this is like this is what I'm going to do. Unless you guys have like a better operational framework we want to go to, this is probably like a good step for like just ground level intel. I'm um, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our comms are secure, right? Uh, hey, it's trash. Your... Our, our comms are secure, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, our, our, our comms are secure. Okay, then yeah. Because the other thing is, um, I think what I want to lead on here is... Uh, oh, sorry. Be kind of... To be clear, sorry. like, if someone's looking for, like, radio chatter, they could find it, but they won't be able to, like hear what you're saying. They'll just get garbled, encrypted noise. Yeah. So they'll know we're communicating, but not what we're communicating. They'll know that there are communications. They won't know from whom or about okay. what. Okay. okay. So there's That's... also possibly a baseline level of noise as well. Also, am I weirdly quiet no, to anyone? You're good. Okay, just making no, sure. The little thing in the zoom window is being weird. Sorry. Okay, so. Does anyone um, have I... any other gather information to do? Yeah, I would like to reach out to um, Doctors Beyond Stars and see if I can't get them at least a little bit involved. Um, uh... All right. That sort of um, coming in in, in in trying to help with uh, with refugees and stuff like that. And they probably might already have a presence in in Kingstown, um, depending on you know their resources. But uh, if they don't, then I would like to see if I, I can't allocate some to helping put the um, the rubble runs at least patched up, if not back on their feet. Okay. Alright. Uh, so. You're reaching out to uh, Dr. Cyanopolis then? Yeah. Alright. She's well enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um... I don't, I don't think you get her. I think you get it's a bad day. But... You definitely get uh, her aide, who is willing to help you. So, what do you? What information are you trying to get? Um, well, one, um, does do do they have a presence in <clears throat> in Kingstown already? Um, and 
two if they don't do they can't can they i guess okay um i don't think that even requires a gather information role uh the aides willing to just tell you that the doctors they do have uh a clinic set up in kingstown it's they're considering closing it though because the locals are pretty hostile to off-worlders and they've been paying uh rental fees we'll say to the burden and until recently also the rubble runs Hmm. um and it's the amount of help they're providing to the locals is pretty small because of the locals resistance to actually taking advantage of the free medicine being provided because they don't trust off-worlders so they're thinking of pulling out because they feel like the the benefit to expenditure ratio isn't good, even though they're... No one appreciates us down here. Yeah, even, even though they're a charity, they they feel that their resources could be better spent elsewhere. Okay. So actually, they would not be... Um, all, they would not improve trust to, to bring them into the... Um, the uh, expedition. There are some locals who take up take them up on their services so you could try and go through them to get in touch with a resident of Kingstown if you wanted but they like they can't promise that that's going to be especially useful because these are just people trying to get by okay um Well, um, that's fair enough. Uh, give give Holly my love. Um, I guess that's not as as viable uh, an avenue as I, as I thought it would be. Um, good to know. Good to know. Um, I will. Yeah. Yeah, that's the end of that. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I mean. Hey, sometimes sometimes the answer is no, and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to know either way. Pitchfork, do you have any gathering of information you want to do? Um, I want to talk to Leila. Um, like, if there are like safe houses or like something of that nature where people might have gone to or like hidden in and also like if there is a fight what are places that we could run to that are more defensible okay um good intel to have give me a gather information roll what do you want to roll um to be clear, this isn't her being this isn't her being hesitant to tell you this stuff. This is sort of like her thinking through the options, the resources that the rubble runs have and what may or may not still be online. Maybe a survey then. Like we're we're like looking over the map and like talking things through together. Uh that would probably be more study, like looking over maps. Mm. I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> Survey would be, you know, looking at it yourself. Uh, if you wanted to consort, you could speak to the entire group, the entire fire team that's there at the chapel. Right. Um, see what they know. I don't have any points in consorting there. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Oh. Um. Yeah, I may just roll zero and see what happens. <laughs> okay, um, what are you rolling? 
I am going to roll... I'm going to roll Consort, then talk to people and see what's up. Oof. That's a two. Yeah. Okay. Um... So what I was going to do was I was going to give you, I have five locations and I was going to, depending on how well you rolled, like knock off some of them as being for sure, not this one. So yeah. you get one, you get one knocked off. So it's narrowed down to four locations. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. That's something. Okay. Um, let me see. See, how do I want to do this? All, yeah. Um, no, that's a, that's a bad color. We'll go with that. Okay, so the <laughs> locations are. Um, oh God, what were they again? Hold on, I gotta pull up my notes. Oh, can I also just ask for another thing to be marked off on the map? Sure, what would you like marked off? Um, could you mark off the soup kitchen that, um, Dudley McDudeface was supposedly... I don't think we have that location yet. Yeah, we don't know. We just oh, know that no. it is a soup ki kitchen. Which sorry. is why Riza wants to go in and Daniel Day-Lewis this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Actually, no, 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 she's, Adri she's Adrian brody this. She's going on a Brody quest. A Brody quest? Do you not know about Brody Quest? It, later, later. <laughs> it's, um, it's time like these that I remember that you have a movie watching podcast. That's probably why. <laughs> um, we have not actually not done The Legend of 1900. This is just trivia. Okay. Let yourself do the legend in 1900. So, the four potential locations are an apartment building, a department store, a school, and a sewer. Is the school still in use? Yes. Fuck. The the apartment building was uh um what do you call it? It also like all of these places, well, in use to varying degrees, because in Kingstown, people make use of what they can. Um, so, yeah. Oh, no power this week. We're moving school, kids. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let me... Let me just... Actually, no. No power. We're going on a field trip to a different <laughs> school. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Um, let me... I'm just going to put all the various locations onto the screen. There you go. So, the apartment building is to the south, the department store is to the west, the sewer is to the east, and the school is kind of in the middle of the uh, the four locations, kind of making a T-shape. The bird in headquarters is to the north of the school, and the yard is to the north of the sewers. Oh, okay. So. I didn't see the numbers you would put down, I'm sorry. It's fine. So we're... So everything is sort of centralized in this area. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so... Let's get planning the mission. Your employer is Lady Elreth. 
Your target uh, is the burden. Your objective is to find and return Margrave Elrath. The rules of engagement are no harming civilians, no posing as medical. Um, oh, and to be clear, you're supposed to return Margrave Elrath alive. Just, just to be what clear. What if that's not an option? Uh, then we're going to have a mad lady Elrath. <laughs> that's going to end very well for us. I think what she says is that um, if he's dead when you find him, bring the body home. If he's alive when you find him and ends up dead, still bring the body home, but yeah, I, no. <laughs> I am not going to be happy. Okay. Um, let's see. So... What is the tactic y'all want to use? Sounded have... like Scarecrow was suggesting deception. I have a question. Maybe it is a technical question. Um, but using the magpie as a search and rescue machine, does that count as a medical um, thing? No, I don't think so. Okay. Also, would the magpie technically be counted as medical transport? because, like, you know, bodies medical are technically... Waste. If it, Loki, it, medical waste. Medical. No, no. The, we, if the magpie was medical transport, y'all would have broken this ROE so many times. Okay, Least of which yeah. was the, the uh, second mission where you went to Fort Jovenal carrying bodies. <laughs> so. Fair. They're dead, it's medical waste. Yeah, basically. You just have to make a profit off of it. Good to know. There's okay. not supposed to be any wounded individuals inside, and also, I don't, I don't think the magpie has any symbology on it indicating it as a medical transport. The symbology okay. is for terrifying. <laughs> cool. That was my question. Okay. So, what tactic? Sound sounded like deception, and the method of deception is posing as refugees. That's not exactly what, was, because that, that would be specifically for Riza going in by herself to do recon, not as a team-wide um, overall strategy. Mm -hmm. um, where, where, hold up, where are the strategies? Because I um, want to check that. There's a little block of them on the character sheets um, below oh, okay. team reductions. Next to relationships. Okay, let's see. Or page thirty-three, if you. But it's uh... assault, deception, scientific, social, stealth, or transport. I'm feeling either social or scientific. Um, my argument for scientific being to just sort of uh, visit each place and then search and then once we've done that like move on to the next in taking the procedural kind of part of procedure um that could work and and social would would be doing that but also getting out and talking to people and actually doing the, the gumshoe thing of trying to find um the uh, are any of us good at talking to people no <laughs> oh. so I do like the idea of going with it from a scientific mission standpoint, though. That's interesting. Because yeah. uh -huh. I think, um, like, Scarecrow's role in this, since this is a part of explaining, like, because I'm just looking through the planning and, like, the detail you need to provide. Like, you know, the detail I've already provided is like her entry point, so that's like stealth as well. Okay. <laughs> well, you can't really do like 
everyone doing a different tactic. Yeah. 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 I think the overall would probably be science. That that makes sense to science. me. Science. And what's the unusual procedure? Because that's the detail for a scientific tactic. Scientific is engaging with technological power. The detail is the unusual procedures used. Well. Hmm. <laughs> well, I've got nice. this uh, terrible noise that I've been using this whole time. Um, Are you just going to echolocate the buildings with the Nell? Yeah. Because I had a oh, feeling that was no. going to be the unusual procedure. Oh, God. <laughs> just, everyone in the building just gets a tummy ache. And they don't know why. I mean, yeah. they're technically not harmed. They're they're gonna be fine. It's just not gonna be comfortable. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Guys, there's this weird organic robot. Just like, is it humping the building? I don't. I, I hate this part of town. I hate it's this just part of spiraling town. quietly in. Not even that quietly, but the air ahead of it is just is also vibrating, and that's pretty bad. Is it? Vogue? Is like a <laughs> Are those pears in there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so engagement roll. You start off with one die. Is the mission bold? Oh. Hmm. Taking taking an RV into Journey City, but it's also the area that no one really cares about. Uh, well, by no one, I mean the powers that be don't care about. Obviously, the people living there care about it, and so do the Burden and the Rubble Runs, and probably also the Squaddies. Um, yeah, I don't think that it's bold. Uh, is it especially complex? I'm confused by it. Yeah, I think <laughs> <laughs> I think it might I think it kind of is because you're sort of like you're trying to find a single person and also exfiltrate an entire gang. We make good choices. While also avoiding another different gang. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing, isn't we it? Can, we can thread the needle, it's fine. There are four of us, four locations. You also have a fire team with you? We do. We do. I've realized something that might happen. And I'm going to oh, no. hold this one close to the chest. Okay. But it's going to be great slash awful. Okay, so that's zero dice. Uh, <laughs> does the mission exploit the target's vulnerabilities? Um, no. Like, you're kind I'd of... No. You're making a clear entrance... Is the mission's tactic ineffective against the target? Also, no, I don't think. Like, you haven't... Mm. I don't think that the Burden are especially uh, resistant to Avi's. Um, does the squad receive external support for the mission? Yes, you got the Rebel Run's help. One die. One die. Is anyone interfering with the mission other than the target? Yes. God damn it. Fuck. Minus one die. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, so you're back to zero. Come on, Are there any other factors that affect the mission? Take plus one D for each that benefits the squad. And minus one D if it hinders them. Well, Dredge is super excited to do what what core mech was built to do. I think maybe that could be a plus one. <laughs> Just a personal figure and vitality. I think another <laughs> thing that could be a good factor is, hey, it's Chinatown, Jake. You know, like, it, it's a bit of a lawless wasteland, which works kind of in our favor. We've also dealt with the burden before. With the apartment mission. 
So we have experience, at least, with, with the kind of force that they're bringing. Yeah, okay, I think between the two of those, you get a die. Okay. Um, and I don't think if there's anything additional that's hindering the squat. So you get one die. Whew. Dredge, you're the uh, you're the one bringing bringing the Avi in. Great. Just roll on one d six. Yep. We make good choices. That's three. That's a three. Mmm. Tasty. Okay. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Hmm. Wonderful. All <laughs> right. Delightful. So that's going to be a desperate position that y'all start with. <laughs> I love it. Some XP. Yeah, that's one way to get XP. Okay. So while we think about, while I think about what your state is when we start off, uh, I am going to take us to break and. We will be back shortly. See you all in a minute. <laughs>